Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I will have this uh, interesting uh, question on the board and then we are going to solve right now. So without wasting time, let's go and see what we have. So we have minus 1 plus 3i divided by 2 to the power of 6 plus minus 1 minus 3i divided by 2 to the power of uh, 6. So what I'm going to do is the approach I'm going to use is to take the whole of this as m and then take the whole of this as n and then first I'm going to solve for m so let's solve for m so what I'm going to do now is to say m equal to minus 1 plus root 3i all over 2 to the power of 6 so our uh, first thing is that I'm going to rewrite this using this rule that a to the power of m n equal to a to the power of m times n, which also is the same thing as a to the power of m all to the power of n. So, of course, we know that 6 is 2 multiplied by 3. So, I take 2 as my m and 3 as n. And therefore, I'm going to rewrite this as minus 1 plus root 3i all over 2 to the power of 2, then everything now all to the power of 3. And then next, I'm, I'm, I'm applying this, that if, a, if I have a over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a to the power of m over b to the power of n, uh, m, rather. So what happens is that the, the power is going to distribute over the, the a and the b. And so, the same way here, this 2, power 2, will distribute over uh, minus 1 plus 3i and then over. So I have m equal to minus 1 plus root 3i to the power of 2 all over 4. Of course, 2 to the power of 2 will simply give us 4. And then everything to the power of uh, 3. Okay, so next is, I'm going to rewrite this so that I have root 3i minus 1 all over 4, all to the power of uh, 3. Okay, so, and then I'm going to apply in, uh, of course, this is power 2. So I'm going to apply the algebraic identity that says if a, uh, if a minus b, sorry, for a minus b squared, I'm going to have a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So I have this to simplify this expression. So m now becomes, so uh, the first term is, um, so I have root 3i squared minus 2 times root 3i times 1 plus uh, 1 squared all over uh, everything here to the power of 3. Alright, so next I'm going to have m equal to, so root 3i, please, class, uh, please note, take note that root 3i squared is the same thing as root 3 squared then i squared. This will be 3 and then uh, i squared is minus 1. So this will be minus 3. Okay, so the whole of this becomes minus 3, minus 2 root 3i, plus 1, all over 4, everything to the power of 3. So having, um, so from there we have m equal to minus 3 plus 1 will give us minus 2, minus 2 root 3i, all over 4, everything to the power of 3. So m will give me, so I'm going to divide, since both the numerator and denominator have uh, common factors, so I'm going to divide that, and so I will get minus 1 minus root 3i divided by 2, all to the power of 3. So, and then of course, M will give me, um, so I'm going to do something else now, 
which is to factor out factor out minus 1 over 2. Yes, I'm going to factor out minus 1 over 2. So I have minus 1 over 2. And then of course I have 1 plus root 3i all to the power of 3. So this 3 is going to distribute all over the two of them. Just like we have it here. So what we are going to do is that if I have um, if I have a dot b to the power of n, this is seen as a to the power of n dot b to the power of n. So I have this uh, right here. So what I'm going to do now is to distribute. So continuing from there, I'm going to have m to be equal to minus 1 over 8. Then I have 1 plus root 3i to the power of 3. And so I'm going to apply this rule now. Recall that a plus b to the power of 3 is seen as a plus b times a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, so now, so my m now becomes 1 over, minus 1 over 8. So uh, the first term will be 1 plus root 3i in the first bracket, okay? Then I have 1 plus 2 root um, 3i, and then of course this is uh, b squared, and the b is root 3i, just like we stated here, so this is going to be minus 3, okay? I close that up. So next I have m equal to minus 1 over 8, then uh, multiply by 1 plus root 3i. Then uh, this becomes minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 root 3i. Okay, so, um, so I'm going to factor out minus 2 from here. So I have m equal to minus 1 over 8, 1 plus root 3i. So factoring out minus 2, so I'm going to have minus 2, and then I have uh, uh, 1 minus root 3i. So next is to multiply this by this, so I'm going to get m equal to minus 1 over 8, minus 2, and the 1 plus root 3i times 1 minus root 3i. Okay, so this gives me... So m will be equal to 1 over 4 times 1 plus root 3i times 1 minus root 3i. Of course, this is a difference of two squares. Okay, this is a difference of two squares. So if I have, example, uh, m plus root n times m minus root n, this is going to give me m squared minus n okay so so what i'm going to have is uh, m equal to one over four then i have um, i have m squared that is one uh one is going to be plus now yes because this minus here will combine with this minus so it's going to be three all right so m equal to one over four times four so m equal to uh, this m equal to one. So that's the value of m. Now let's quickly solve for n. Let's solve for n. So solving for n, we are going to have it that m equal to minus one minus root three i all over two all to the power of six. Okay. So what I'm going to do here now is to say. What I'm going to do here is to first of all factorize out the minus. Let's factor it out. I'm going to have minus 1 to the power of 6. Then I have, um, hope that is clear, 1 plus root 3i to the power of 6 uh, over 2 here. So we have n equal to, now when you have uh, a negative, uh, sorry, an even power, whatever the base, 
the result is always a uh, uh, whole number. I uh, mean, positive. Let me put it that way. So this is going to be 1 times 1 plus root 3i all over 2 to the power of 6. Then I have n equal to 1 plus root 3i to the power of 2, I mean, over 2 to the power of 6. So I'm going to use the same approach by splitting this up to n equal to 1 plus root 3i all over 2 then everything to the power of 2 and then to the power of 3 okay from that end I move over here from that end I move over here so I have n equal to so first let me um, resolve what is inside so I'm going to have 1 plus root 3i to the power of 2 over 2 squared, and 2 squared is 4, so everything here to the power of 3. So n equal to, so I'm going to apply this rule here, where I have this becomes 1 plus, that is the, the square of a sum, a plus b squared, which is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So apply that to this. I will be getting uh, 2 root 3i minus 3 all over 4 all to the power of 3. So I have n equal to minus 2 plus 2 plus 2 root 3i all over 4 all over 4 all to the power of 3. And then, of course, I'm going to reduce that to n equal to uh, minus 1 plus root 3i over 2, all to the power of 3. So now I'm going to factor out uh, minus 1 over 2. So I'm, I'm going to have n equal to minus 1 over 2 cubed. Then I have 1 minus root 3 i all cubed okay so this gives me minus one over eight and then of course um let me move over here so i have this so applying this a minus b to the power of three is the same thing as a minus b Okay, times a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Alright, so applying this to this, I'm going to get n equal to minus 1 over 8. Okay, so I have 1 minus root 3, root 3i, and then of course I'm going to be having 1 minus 2 root 3i and minus 3. Yes, minus 3. So I have n equal to minus 1 over 8 times 1 minus root 3i. So once I simplify this, I'm going to get minus 2 minus 2 root 3i. Okay, so factoring minus 2 out, so I will have minus 1 over 8 times minus 2 times 1 minus root 3i cos and then I have 1 plus root 3i and uh, this gives me 1 over 4 and then of course this now will give me 1 plus if I simplify this it's going to be 1 plus 3 okay so n equal to 1 over 4 times 4 which is equal to 1. Therefore, we've seen that m equal to 1 and n also is equal to 1. Therefore, we can conclude by saying that minus 1 plus root 3i all over 2 to the power of 6 plus minus 1 minus root 3i over 2 to the power of 6 is equal to m plus n, right? And then, of course, n equal to 1. 
and also n equal to 1. So the result is 2. So there you have it, guys. I will see you in my next video. Please watch, learn, subscribe, comment, and share. I will see you.